Hey guys, Arbor here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 5 Module 2 Lesson 20 homework. So let's get started. Number 1. Mr. Rice needs to replace the 166.25 feet of edging on the flower beds in his backyard. The edging is sold in lengths of 19 feet each. How many lengths of edging will Mr. Rice need to purchase? Alright, so let's draw a tape diagram. We know he has a total of 166.25 feet that he needs to replace. And he needs to buy edging to ask how much he needs to buy, but each edging is sold in 19 feet each. That's one, two, and we don't know how many is in between. And the last one should be 19, but we don't know what number it ends on. So to solve this, we can do 166.25 divided by 19. Our decimal point should fall above right here. So 19 can't go into 16. So it can go to 166, and it can go in, I think, probably 9. Oh, nine times, eight times probably. That'd be, yeah, that'd be 172. Wait, hold on, no. 19 times eight, we can do on the side, actually. I think it's 152, yeah. Okay, 166 minus 152 is 13. Oh my god. 166 minus 152 is 14. And 19 can't go into 14, so I bring the 2 down. 19 can probably go 7 times, I think. Yeah, 7 times. That's 0, 7, 6, 233 times. So the difference should be 9. And now we bring down the 5. Um, because 19 can't go into 9. We have 95. 19 can go exactly 5 times. Now we have 0. So our answer should be 8.75. That means Mr. Rice, so that's how much he needs. But, however, 8.75, we're going to round it to the next whole number, which is 9. And that is because you can't buy 8.75 feet of edging at a store. You can't ask for 8.75. And we can't buy 8 because he needs 0.75 more. So 8 is not enough to satisfy how many feet of edging Mr. Rice needs. So what we need to do is just round it up to the next whole number, which is 9. So that means over here, Mr. Rice needs to purchase nine feet of edging. All right, now number two. Olivia is making granola bars. She will use 17.9 ounces of pistachios, 12.6 ounces of almonds, 12.5 ounces of walnuts, and 12.5 ounces of cashews. This makes this amount makes 25 bars. How many ounces of nuts are in each granola bar? All right, so this whole thing, the total, is ounces of, uh, are all nuts. So first we need to find out how many total ounces are used in all. So we have 17.9 plus 12.6 plus 12.5 plus another 12.5. We add that all together. Nine plus six is 15, plus five is 20, plus five is 25, I think 25. Seven plus two is nine, plus two is 11, plus two is 13, plus two is 15. And one plus one, two, three, four, five. So 55.5. So that's how much Olivia used in all. That's how many ounces of nuts she used in all. 
but she used that to bake 25 bars. We want to know how many ounces of nuts are in each bar. So we do 55.5 divided by the 25 bars. Won't go to 50, but 55, 25 will go two times. That was 55 left over. Now our decimal point will be up there. Now bring down the 5. 25 will go two times in. That's 5 left over. So it's 2.2 repeating because once you get back to the 5, you know it's, repeat. it's a repeating decimal. So that means she used about 12, 2.2. Is right? Olivia used 2.2 ounces of, what's the repeating decimal? Nuts in each bar. All right, next page. Part number three, Adam has 16.45 kilograms of flour. He uses 6.4 kilograms to make hot cross buns. The remaining flour is exactly enough to make 15 batches of scones. How, many, how much flour in kilograms will be in each batch of scones? All right, so we know, let's make a tape diagram for this one, actually. Adam, right now, in total, he has 16.45 kilograms. And he uses 6.4. So that's 6.4, it's bye-bye, because he already used that. Now, the remaining amount of flour, this much, is enough to make 15 batches of scones. And this much is used to make scone. And each of these little blocks is enough for one scone. So we want to find out how much flour is in one scone. To do that, first we need to find out this much. Find out this much. So do 16.45 minus 6.4. 5 minus 0 is 5, 4 minus 4 is 0, 6 minus 6 is 0, and 1 is just 1. Bring the decimal place, place down. 10.05 is used to make 15 batches. But now you want to know how many, how much flour is used in each batch. So 10.05 divided by 15. 15 can't go into 10, but 100, 15 can go, let's see, 15 can go six times. That'd be 90. 100 minus 90 is 10. So now bring down the five. I think 15 can go seven times, maybe. Wait. Yeah, seven times. Minus 105. That's zero left over. So 0.67. That's how many is using each batch of scone. So that means 0 0.67 kilograms of flour um are used in each batch. Alright, now number four. There are 95th grade students going on a field trip. Each student gives a teacher $9.25 to cover admission to the theater and for lunch. Admission for all of the students will cost $315. And each student will get an equal amount to spend on lunch. How much will each fifth grader get to spend on lunch? So first we want to find out how much money do they collect in total? 95th grade students and each student pays $9.25. So let's do $1.25 times the 90. 
Let me write that. I'm gonna have to write the zeros. I just do. Oh, I need times nine point two five. All right. However, this looks a bit weird, but that's okay. Zero times five. Zero 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 zero. I'm gonna add a zero. Nine times five is forty-five. Nine times two is eighteen plus four is twenty-two. Nine times nine is eighty-one plus two is eighty-three. We add that all together. We don't have to add anything. Bring the decimal place down, point down. Eight hundred thirty-two dollars fifty cents is collected in total. But it says admission for all the students will cost three hundred fifteen dollars. It's not for one, but all. So this is the money they have. So to cover admission, that's 832.5 minus the 315. Zero minus zero is zero. Five minus five, no, five minus zero is five. Two minus five, let's see. Two minus five, borrow 10. 12 minus five is seven. 2 minus 1 is 1, and 8 minus 3 is 5. So now I have 517.50, or $517.50. And there's 90 students, so this is the total amount they have to spend on lunch. But let's see how much each student has. 90. So 90 can't go in to... 51, but 517.90 can go, let's see, 9 can go 6 times, 9 can go 6 times, maybe 5, minus 450, 517 minus 450 is 67, bring down the 5, 90 can go maybe 7 times, probably, minus 630, 675 minus 630 is 45. Now bring down the zero. 90 goes five times. Minus 450, zero left over. So $5.75. That means each fifth grader gets $5.75 to spend. All right, number five, Ben is making math manipulatives to solve. He wants to make at least $450. Each manipulative costs $18 to make. He is selling them for $30 each. What is the minimum number he can sell to reach his goal? All right, so first we want to find out what his profit is each um manipulative thing because he wants to make 450 but right now they cost $18 to make and he's selling them for 30 so 30 minus 18 borrow 10 should be 12 so each one he's making $12 he wants to make at least 450 so to find out how many he needs um to sell we do 450 divided by 12 the 12 can't go into 4, but 45, 12 can go 3 times. 45 minus 36 is 9. Now bring down the 0. 12 can go, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 times probably. Minus 84, that would be 6 left over. So now we bring and make a zero, we bring down the zero. 60, 12 can go five times. 60 minus 60 is zero. So 37.5. So that is how much Ben needs to sell, but he can't sell half a manipulative. He can't sell half of something. And if we have 37, that would not be enough. So I mean, we have to round to the nearest whole number, which would be 38. So that means, Ben 
must sell 38 so. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps. And please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel. See you guys next time. Bye!